Welcome to Sarah's Scuba and Travel Channel. In this video, I want to share some of my favorite food places in Iceland, particularly Reykjavik, including some budget-friendly suggestions as well. This is definitely not an exhaustive list, and I know there are many more wonderful establishments that I did not have the opportunity to visit during my trip. I encourage you to take some of my suggestions, but also explore other eateries on your own while visiting the country. The food in Iceland is organic and farm fresh. Vegetables are grown in the greenhouses throughout the country. Fruit is usually imported. It has been challenging for them to grow in country, but meat and dairy products are farm fresh as well. But with that, let's get started on sharing some of my favorite eats. In Reykjavik, we stayed at a vacation rental near the Reykjavik Harbor in the Grandi area. This area offers a variety of food options. One that our group enjoyed was the Grandi Mathal. This is similar to a food court in the U.S., but with much better options and street food at reasonable prices. We frequented this location multiple times throughout our trip, and everyone thoroughly enjoyed their food each time. We were a group of six, and this spot had options for everyone, from oven-baked pizzas to Indian cuisine, from gourmet fish dishes to authentic Italian pasta, and so much more. One highlight we discovered early were the french fries. It is not so much about the potato, but the seasoning they use on their fries. It is a seasoning consisting of salt, tomato powder, onion powder, paprika, and sugar. It is awesome. In the same area, you can take a little walk over to the Om Nom ice cream and chocolate shop. This company offers bean to bar products. All products are made in shop from the finest cocoa beans from around the world with high quality ingredients through direct trade. Try flavors like licorice and sea salt, dark chocolate with cranberries, salted almonds, puffed barley and cocoa nibs, coffee and milk, and sea salted toffee. The artistic elements of the packaging and the chocolate bars make these treats artistic pieces. This was a bar from their winter collection, milk and cookies. And they have ice cream. The ice cream that I tried was vanilla soft serve with caramel sauce, dark milk, chocolate and honey, and roasted honey flakes. While you are there, don't forget to pick up some chocolate bars to take home to family and friends. If you cannot travel to Iceland, they have an online shop that ships to the US and Canada. Speaking of ice cream, it is a major food group in Iceland. I had no idea that ice cream was so popular in Iceland until I started conducting research for this trip. One of the most popular ice cream shops is Valdi's, which has a location in the Grandi area. They offer some interesting flavors. One of the favorites among our group was cherry mascarpone. One scoop in a small cup was 600 krona, which is about $4.80 US. They even have some cool swings to sit on outside while you enjoy your ice cream. For our absolute favorite ice cream stop, stay tuned to the end. Iceland offers a variety of international cuisines. One establishment that we really enjoyed and were very happy to see after a long day of activities and traveling was Viet Noodles. While we were in Iceland, most food establishments closed by 9 p.m. in our area. We were very happy to be able to get a hot, fresh meal at 9.30 at night. The food was amazing and we were so grateful they allowed us to stay even though they closed at 10 p.m. Don't worry, we tipped them well. Tipping is not required or customary in Iceland. However, it is greatly appreciated. Moving away from the Grandi area, I want to highlight a location for breakfast, Deg. This is a bakery that is located in the front of the Exeter Hotel and next to Le Coq. Everything is baked fresh daily. They offer a variety of bagels, breads, and donuts in a hip, relaxing dining area with board games and interesting reads available. I want to highlight one donut they offer, the creme brulee donut. It is amazing. It is a custard filled donut with a plain glaze on top. Then they take a blowtorch to the top to create the melted sugar crunch of a creme brulee. But that's not all. They spoon fine white sugar on top while blowtorching it. This creates a nice thick brittle of melted sugar. When you take that first bite, you get that crunch of the melted sugar and the hot runny custard. It is incredible. I'm getting hungry just talking about it. Definitely stop and treat yourself to this goodness. We experienced excellent eats throughout Iceland on all of our guided tours. One stop was at a dairy farm that offered fresh beef and fish options. The trout was probably the best I have ever had. 
The beef options were mostly hamburgers, but they were devoured by everyone. The beef was so fresh and had excellent flavor. There were views of the cows from the restaurant dining room in, on the second floor, as well as the first floor where the ice cream shop was located. Yes, ice cream again. If you have the opportunity to make a stop, get the blueberry flavor if it's featured during your visit. A hotel in Hof offered fresh salmon, lamb, and cheeseburgers. The fish, beef, and lamb are so fresh and of high quality in Iceland. We enjoyed skier cake and brownies for dessert. Skier is like thick plain yogurt that is a common component of the Iceland diet. Even the food trucks at Glacier Lagoon offered up amazing gourmet food like fish and chips, lobster rolls, and hot dogs. Okay, I have to interrupt the content feed for just a second and tell you how amazing the hot dogs are in Iceland. I know it's probably not what you immediately think of when you think of Iceland, but they are so good. <laughs> and nothing like you've had in the US. They are made from lamb and a must try when visiting the country. Get one the traditional Icelandic way, which is topped with white raw onions, crispy onions, ketchup, a sweet brown mustard, and a remoulade made from mayo, capers, mustard, and herbs. It is so delicious. <laughs> Our guide for our Southern Iceland tour shared with us that a major U.S. retailer opened a warehouse store in Iceland selling their store brand hot dogs, which are, as we know, usually made from beef and or pork byproducts. Well, the people of Iceland found the hot dogs to be disgusting and refused to purchase the product. After tasting the Icelandic hot dogs, I totally understand why. As we head back to Reykjavik, I want to move over to Halkrim's Yirka area, which is the famous church in Reykjavik. There is a well-known bakery a short walking distance from the church. You cannot miss the colorful building. It is a piece of art in and of itself. Broad Company specializes in cinnamon rolls. Treat yourself to a hot, fresh, out-of-the-oven pastry to enjoy immediately. If you don't like cinnamon rolls, it's okay. They have sandwiches, breads, and other pastry options available as well. This could be a nice stop for breakfast or a little snack along the way. Another fun and quirky stop near House Cream Kirkja is Cafe Babalu. This cafe offers vegan options and is a great stop for lunch or to grab a hot coffee or tea to warm up from the cold. They are known for their cheesecakes, but I didn't have the opportunity to try one during my visit. The walls are covered in memorabilia, collections, and trinkets. Make sure you check out the first floor bathroom, especially if you are a Star Wars fan. They even had Star Wars music playing in the bathroom. The food was tasty and the atmosphere had a great vibe. There is also a resident cat that comes and goes as he pleases. This is his restaurant. If you are lucky, he might grace you with his presence. Once you've enjoyed your meal and or snack, make your way down the hallway to check out all the other decorations and antiques this location has to offer. Then head upstairs and check out the other fun antiques and collections that adorn their walls. This restaurant had the feel of a community coffee shop or cafe. You could easily find a place to sit and complete some work if you needed to do so during your visit. Another area with good eats near where we were staying was Inglefer Square. The most amazing sandwiches are available here. All of the meat is grilled fresh and the sandwich is served hot. I highly recommend number 14, the Pro Boat. This is also a pretty cheap eat for food in Iceland. The sandwiches you may look big and you might think you will split one with someone else or take the other half home. Yeah, no, trust me, you won't once you start eating these amazing creations. I'm looking forward to returning to Reykjavik just to go back and get a sandwich. Directly across from the sandwich shop is a gastropub. You can spot it by the fancy pig out front. This gastropub offers a seven course Icelandic tasting experience. We decided that we needed to immerse ourselves in the full experience, even though this is definitely marketed as a tourist attraction. 
Various restaurants offer tasting menus. We selected this location due to the variety of dishes offered. We also selected this location because the menu did not include the famous fermented shark. <laughs> we had the opportunity to try a shot of Brevenin, which is a traditional Icelandic spirit. I would describe it as being similar to vodka. The courses included tastings of smoked puffin, mink whale, arctic char, a type of fish on traditional fakaka bread, horse carpaccio, ling, which is also a type of fish, Icelandic lamb rump steak, and Icelandic crowberry cheesecake. I understand how you might be turned off from trying some of these dishes. If you have the time, the funds, and the curiosity, I encourage you to treat yourself to an experience like this as well. This gastropub also offers various beer tours. Earlier in the video, I promised I would share our favorite ice cream location, and here it is, Gaeta. Well, it is technically gelato, but to me that still counts. It is amazing. I highly recommend the vanilla lemon pistachio flavor. We frequented this establishment throughout our trip. There was no sharing. Everyone had to get their own each time. The food in Iceland is incredible. I did not have a bad meal at any point during my trip. I hope you have the opportunity to experience the wonderful food in this beautiful country. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Please check out my other videos in the Iceland series. You can also join the Facebook group and follow me on Instagram for more content and tips.